I learned to program computers on the Ataris. And with the Atari 800XL, because it came with the basic operating system in the ROM, the minute you turned it on, it was ready to go. So it popped up with the ready prompt. And with the instruction manuals, you know, the basic language, the basic stands for beginner's all purpose symbolic instruction code. But it was, it was English as opposed to assembly language. And by typing in programs, literally typing them in, I got to start to understand how a computer worked in basic. Now you go off and you'd buy uh, computer game books and in here, it would give you all of the instructions. So you'd sit down and you type in all the instructions. Now I've taken one from this book, a simple color pattern and I've typed it in already. So if I type list here, these are the instructions for this color pattern that I've typed in. Now, one of the features with the computers back then was that if I turned off the power, that was gone. It was in RAM and power was gone, it wasn't saved. So in order to save it, because I had the Atari cassette recorder, I'd buy blank cassette tapes in the local TV shop. You put it in here, you type C save, hit record, and it would record the programming code onto the tape. And the next time I'd come back, I could load it back off the tape so I could continue on. That's how you kind of worked on a project. Now, what does this one do? If I type run, it's a pretty basic graphics program, but I'll be honest, using these kind of things, I got to learn or self teach myself how to program. And when I went off to college in University of Limerick, then we learned assembler and we learned C. When I was in analog devices, we used to use basic type programming uh, on the PDP 11s. And when I got a real job, when I left college, I was working in banking systems and then we learned uh, COBOL and then back to C again when I was doing real work. But to cut a long story short, that's how I learned to program, all in basic, writing my own games. They weren't very good, but they were pretty cool at the time.